So that's all for the 95s and 91. I'm going to be talking about the 84 to 90. This is where decisions have to be made. There are a lot, a lot of players here. So let me start with the center position. The center position, a lot of people are selling them for cheap because everyone's getting the holiday packs where you get the defensive centers. So a lot of centers are getting thrown into the market. Basically, if you keep refreshing the centers every 30 minutes, every hour, you're always going to see new ones. So if, if you really want to get a cheap one, you could do that. Just be patient, get a good deal. Like, look, you can get Gobert for 10k, Whiteside for 10k. They all have the defensive badge. 95 defense, this is crazy. I'm telling you, after Christmas over, these will skyrocket in prices. I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Look, Cousins is going for 8k. Embiid is going for 9k. Oh, there's a Jordan I want to talk about. DeAndre Jordan. There's two cards that just came out today. There's the 86 Jordan. and I need to find the 84. Hold up. Towns is overrated. I wouldn't pay that much for him. Because look, Towns only has 75 defense. He's mostly rated high because of his offensive ability. But unless you're going to score a lot with Towns, I don't think you should buy him. Because look, he's mostly offensive side. A post up, mid, finishing, and a little bit of threes. If you're not going to use Carl for offensive purposes, I would pass on him and get a defensive center for much cheaper. Because all the other centers have better rebounding and defense and at a better price so unless like i said if you want to use towns for offensive purposes i would pass on him so let me jump into jordan if i could find a 84 i want to compare them side by side right now i don't see two jordans on one screen bowl is going for a crazy amount because his defense is op plus his 7 7 98 defense that's basically the yao ming i don't know if yao ming's gonna come out hopefully he does all right, let me compare Jordan and talk to you about something real quick. All right. There's the 84 and 86. The 84, in my opinion, is much better than the 86 because he is cheaper. He has better rebounding and better defense. And he also has the badge. Compared to the other one, he doesn't have the badge. He has a silly picture and his rebounding and defensive is much lower because the only thing up that's better is the speed and finishing ability but you're not going to use deandre jordan for his speed you're going to use him for his defense and this one has a badge the badge is extremely helpful every time my opponent goes into the lane and shoots a layup or dunk the accuracy decreases a lot that's the description of this badge from what i read back in the day when i made a center so i'm telling you this badge is very overpowered. A lot of layups and dunks are going to be missed or blocked. So I would get this DeAndre Jordan over the 86. Don't get hyped up in the overall. You guys got to look at the stats. And you guys got to look at the badges. Very important. Alright. So let me go in back into the, in the auction house. I'm sorry if this is a long video. But there's a lot of players and positions I want to talk about. All right, let's go into, or maybe I should separate this video into my position, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center, or just make one big video. All right, let me go back into the centers because I wanted to touch on something real quick. So if you want a defensive center, go for Whiteside or Gobert. If you want offensively, you should go for Cousins, MB, or Carl Anthony Towns. Do not go for the legends right now because they're ridiculously overpriced. Unless someone sells the Monute for like 50k, 60k, I wouldn't pay 140 for that. You could use that 140 for a Kevin Durant for a LeBron James, much more useful. So let me go into the power forward position. So for the power forward position, like I said, I would save up for the 93 Kevin Garnett, way better than the 90 overall. Unless someone sells this for like 1k or 2k. I would pass on this KG. And basically that 93 Kevin Garnett is basically the best power forward you can get in terms of value for your for your coins because there's so many Kevin Garnett's at 93 overall that everyone's selling it for 30k. All the other power forwards, there's not that many, that's why the price is high. 
For example, the 88 Anthony Davis, you're probably only gonna find like four or five for like 40K, 45K. But if you go into the 93 Kevin Garnett, which is way better than this card, it's only gonna go for 30K. So you save money, get a better player. So I would skip on all the 90 power forwards basically, unless you want Kevin Love who could shoot the three or you want the legend that you really like. I would pass on all the power forwards and just go for Kevin Garnett if you really want something in terms of value for money. So like I said, I would pass on all these players because none of them eh, are not that good. Look, this guy doesn't has a badge, but like defensive, eh. Like I said, if you really like some of these legends, go for it. Ibaka is going for 7k. But if you double that, you could get like 93 Kevin Garnett, 10 points higher. I'm saying just pass on all of these. Don't don't buy any of these players unless someone's selling for extremely cheap. Like 1k, 2k, 3k, 4k, 5k. Look, Lamarcus is going for 9k. I've seen some crazy power forwards going for 5k, 6k. That's when someone's desperate to get that 5k. Usually people do that when they're missing 5k to buy like LeBron James or Kevin Durant or a good player that they really really like that has a buy it now tag. They really want to sell something extremely quick. 